On behalf of the entire SV2 Board of Directors, I want to welcome you all here again tonight, all the partners, the grantees, the sponsors, and fellow community members. Tonight, I have the honor of awarding the next Laura Ariaga Anderson Social Impact Award to a very special individual. The award was created in 2010 and was named after SV2 founder Laura Ariaga Anderson. Each year, the award is given to an outstanding individual who has gone above and beyond in their dedication to SV2 and or its grantees and has really proven their dedication to SV2's engaged giving model, both within SV2 and the broader community. Each of our panelists tonight are past award winners. Those include Laura Ariaga Anderson in 2010, Mark Parnes in 2011, and Laura Lauder in 2012, and last year, in SV2's 15th anniversary year, the award was given to a unique team of pioneer partners with whom which SV2 would not be around today. They include Susan Ford Dorsey, Marcia and John Goldman, Ted and Kathleen Kelly Janis, Carla and Steve Jervison, Charlene and Derry Cabsonell, Jeff Skoll, Lisa Sobrato Sincini, and Akiko Yamazaki and Jerry Yang. Tonight, we will add a very special individual to this distinguished group of unleashed catalytic leaders. She is a woman who truly embodies SV2 in every aspect at its very best. Tonight's awardee joined SV2 in 2008 after a very accomplished business career. And she brought with her many, many skills and talents and much more to SV2. After joining SV2, she fearlessly jumped into just about every grantee meeting and grantee advising opportunity. After her first year, she volunteered to co-lead co the international grant round, not just once, but twice. And in 2009, she joined the SV2 Board of Directors. In 2011, she became vice chair. In 2012, she became chair. And then, in truly an act of pure dedication and leadership, she stepped into the role of interim executive director in SV2's recent executive transition, executive trans, executive, exec, that's a hard thing to say, <laughs> executive director transition in early 2013. And she really uh, helped ensure the smooth transition between uh, where we were and our existing new executive director, Jen Rate. Uh, last year, she worked with Jen as well as our incoming board uh, chair, Bill Bernal, to lead us in a very comprehensive strategic planning process, which resulted in the powerful strategic plan that has truly uh, emboldened the, the partnership with a new vision and strategic direction. On top of the strategic planning year, though, she and her husband, Dennis DeBroke, participated in SV2's first ever pilot service trip to Rwanda last fall. So you can see she does many things, and it's not only all the things that she does that are important, but it's how she does them. She truly is a person who balances the seriousness and importance of the work we do at SV2 with a sense of humor and fun. And many of the partners have said many times that every meeting is better when she's in attendance. SV2, SV2 has truly blossomed with her tenure as board chair in the last three years, leading a board of 16 directors. And her tenure ended last night in SV2's spring board meeting. SV2 would certainly not be the place that it is today without her unending leadership, her many skills and talents, and her grace that she brings to the process, and her boundless energy. She truly embodies the definition of a catalytic leader. Please join me in deeply thanking and congratulating the extraordinary Nancy Heinen. Wow. Um, tonight I actually have to work from notes. <laughs> Thank you. And I should have bought myself a camera too. Thank you so much 
for this wonderful award. I am deeply touched and I am humbled to be in the company of the previous winners who I dream of emulating in what I do. So I came to SP2 from Apple where my boss would say the journey is the reward. And I have had a remarkable trek at SB2, as Kelly so kindly outlined, with some exciting and some unexpected twists and turns. This award is especially poignant because I am transitioning from the board chair. And I am delighted to see where the journey next takes me at SB2. My initial draw to SB2 was the mission and the model of building the capacity of engaged change makers and the grantees that we serve. I wanted to be a stronger giver and I wanted to translate all those years of corporate experience into making a greater change in our community. In 2008, SB2, SB2 was tiny, it was small. Lindsay Louie was our only staff member. We were working out of borrowed conference rooms at Wilson Sonsini in private homes. As Jen has outlined, in 2015, we are rocking it. We have grown in numbers of partners, and all of whom are reporting significant numbers, reporting the increase in their confidence and the level of their giving. They're going deeper, they're going broader. And when she said that $7 million number for SB2 partners given the community, it takes my breath away. And I think all of you deserve a huge round of applause for that. Please do read the impact report that's on your chair. It will be worth it when you realize the culmination of what we're doing in our communities and the groundwork that we have laid to do so much more. Along that journey, I would often ask myself, am I really helping contribute to SB2's capacity to grow their philanthropists and to grow our grantees? Did I actually do things to empower and encourage partners, board members, staff, the grantees to be innovative, to be creative, to be collaborative, to take appropriate risks in service of their mission? And this award tonight tells me, I guess I did okay. <laughs> I am thrilled to have played a leadership role in SB2 as it's grown in its scale and in its aspirations. Guided by a well-developed, comprehensive, and ambitious strategic plan, governed by a first-rate board, led by the awesome Jen Rite and each exceptional staff member, Lisa, Elizabeth, Ashley, Carrie, our interns, Chian and Andy, we are well on our way to seeing a brighter future in our community. SB2 partners are truly making a difference. And the innovation that founded SB2, that these former awardees have received, and it is in the DNA, it's in the design teams, it's in the pilot programming, things like the investment, uh, impact investing and the lightning rounds. There are spirited conversations and deep relationships that SB2 brings to bear. The best tribute to my hopes and efforts for SB2 is the power we are unleashing in our partners and our grantees, and in the collaborative muscle we are developing within our community allies, such as those who kindly sponsored us tonight. My thanks to each of you for the time, the support, the expertise, the vision, the leadership, the passion, the commitment, and the resources extended to SB2 and to me. Knowing you bring your best selves to SB2 inspires me. Through you, I've learned to be a better listener, collaborate more, experiment more, and engage more. I am a better person, and I hope a better leader because of my involvement here. So what's ahead for me? I'm not going anywhere other than Italy tomorrow with my darling husband on a well-earned vacation. <laughs> In July, Bill Brownell takes over as board chair and I am confident his leadership will take SB2 to the next level. I will remain on the SB2 board for one more year, and I will continue to recruit great partners, encourage new leaders, build community collaborations, and work with our grantees. I am all in on our impact investing initiative, and will be helping improve our Beyond the Dollars work. 
the chapter ends happily, and there's so much more to write. Thank you again for this board.